Catherine from Dalo Kini here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. There are five foods your kidneys are literally starving for right now. Mmm. Wow. This is great. Because, you know, about 80% of people with kidney problems have one or more vitamin or mineral deficiencies. And clearly, it is very hard to improve the health of your kidneys if you cannot nourish them properly. These foods are really rich in the essential vitamins and minerals your kidneys are starving for. Absolutely essential to help your kidneys recover and repair. And actually, as you can see on my stove top, there is also a new kidney friendly recipe I'm going to show you today. So really a lot to talk about. Let's start immediately. Our number five is a true superfood. Let's see it. And our number five is... Oh, colorful cauliflowers. And oh, they look wonderful. There is regular cauliflower here, but also these beautiful orange and purple cauliflowers. If you have seen some of these at your local farmer's market, you may have been wondering what they are and if they're healthy. So, first of all, no, they are not painted. What's giving them their colors is the special nutrients they contain. Purple cauliflower gets its beautiful hue from the presence of anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are linked to controlling blood pressure, reducing damage to blood vessels, and protecting against heart disease. Exactly what your kidneys need. These powerful antioxidants are what make red wine healthy. And you can get anthocyanins from cauliflower too now. Orange cauliflower, on the other hand, is rich in beta carotene, just like carrots. And trust me when I say that your kidneys are really craving some beta carotene right now. Beta carotene, the water soluble form of vitamin A, helps the kidneys filter toxins out of the blood, according to several studies. So, this one is great for your heart health and this one detoxes your kidneys. But there is more! Just like regular cauliflower, which is incredibly healthy by the way, these are also high in choline, an essential nutrient that many people are deficient in. This happens because not many foods contain choline. Cauliflower, along with broccoli, is one of the best plant-based sources of the nutrient. So, we have already found three essential nutrients your kidneys are starving for just in the first bag. But wait, there is more! All cauliflowers are packed with vitamin C, vitamin B6, folate, pantothenic acid, magnesium, and fiber. Yes, this is an incredibly nutrient-dense superfood. As an added bonus, cauliflower is incredibly versatile and can be used to replace many grains in your diet. For example, you can use it to make cauliflower rice. Now, the only downside of cauliflower, like for many, many nutrient-dense superfoods, is its potassium content, about 300 milligrams per cup chop, which roughly translates to 100 grams. It doesn't mean you cannot have cauliflower though, just that you need some portion control. Okay, it's time for our number four. Some people consider this superfood the cure for everything. But are they right? Let's find out. And our number four is, let's see it. Bone broth. Bone broth is a real superfood. No debating it. Got a tummy ache? Drink some bone broth. Trying to get rid of joint pain? Can't do it without bone broth. Want to improve your skin health? 
Yeah, bone broth. Seriously, if there's one food every person on the planet should be consuming more of, it's bone broth. And today, health conscious people mm. are not just using bone broth to make soups, wow. sauces, and gravies. People are even drinking it to get these benefits every day. And there is also another reason why I have included this recipe in today's top 5. Yes, this tasty broth contains something your kidneys and your body desperately need. No, it's not calcium from the bones nor collagen. What I have here today is a special recipe developed with the needs of people with kidney disease in mind. And it also comes with a great unsuspected health benefit. So let's see how to make it. We're going to use two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and then we're going to use four carrots, two onions, some parsley, then some celery and chives, because I love spices. And then we're going to roughly chop the chicken. Then put everything inside this pot. So, what's the reason for bone broth being in the top 5 of foods your kidneys are starving for? Well, the less known reason why bone broth has become a trendy beverage among the health conscious is because it's a tonic for the immune system. Chicken soup contains a number of substances with beneficial medicinal activity. And according to studies, people eating chicken soup experience a reduction in inflammation that helps reduce symptoms of the common flu. So there is a reason why people have been making chicken soup for ages when they aren't feeling well. And if that chicken soup is a bone broth, it is truly a healing food. Let's add 2 tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Here we go. And take the pot and put it on the stove top and let it cook for 24 to 48 hours. Yes, I haven't got this wrong. This time is required to extract nutrients from the chicken bones. Here we go. This part was recorded the morning after. We will now use a tablecloth and pass the chicken broth to get just the liquid. Repeat until you have strained all the liquid. And ta-da! We get the chicken broth! Our chicken broth is ready! Next step! Cover the bowl and put it inside the fridge. Here it is, our chicken bowl. Okay, when the fat rises to the top, it's easier to skim all the fat. Then, pass the liquid through the strainer and put it in a glass container. Okay guys, let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This is great. Perfect. Now guys, bone broth is great, but the next food here is going to be even more impressive. Let's see it. Dried chickpeas! Okay, okay, I know, they're rich in potassium. But wait, wait, don't go away yet. There are good reasons why chickpeas are our number three today. First of all, they're rich in many nutrients your kidneys are starving for, like calcium. There is about 6% to 8% of your daily requirement of calcium in one cup of chickpeas. Very important and very hard to get in a kidney diet. But also, about 40% of your daily requirement of fiber. 
Now, fiber deficiency is probably the most common deficiency. Just about 5% of North Americans reach their daily recommended intake of fiber. And also about 22% of your daily requirement of iron. Very important as iron deficiency is linked to anemia. And last, about 70% of your daily requirement of folate or folic acid. Now guys, as usual, talk to your doctor before adding any new food to your diet if you have kidney problems. And while the incredible nutritional values of chickpeas are nothing new, what you may not know is that you can actually eat chickpeas as a part of a healthy renal diet. Yes, I'm not crazy to recommend you eating a food today's guidelines are forbidding patients from eating because those guidelines may soon become outdated. I'll show you why. There is a fairly recent research published in the Journal of Renal Nutrition. The Journal of Renal Nutrition is what your dietitian should be reading every two months. They research and publish about the diet for people with kidney problems. According to them, these legumes have been shown to lower some markers of cardiovascular disease and regulate blood sugar and insulin. Heart health and blood sugar are basically the two most important things when it comes to fighting kidney disease. But there is more! Researchers figured out a way to get rid of the potassium in chickpeas and still maintain the health benefits. And in just three very easy steps. 1. Let the legume soak in a bowl of water for 12 hours or more. Do it before your bedtime. 2. Discard the soaking water, now full of potassium, and rinse the legumes well. 3. Cook them in a pressure cooker or boil in lots of fresh water. And that's it! According to the Journal of Renal Nutrition, these three steps result in a potassium content reduction of up to 80%. So, after soaking and cooking, the final values of potassium are under 120 mg for a 100 gram portions of chickpeas. Incredible! Okay, time for our number two now. Let's see it. Oh, wait. Is this canned foods as our number two? Impossible. Oh, wait. It's salmon. And not just regular salmon. This is Alaskan wild sake salmon. It is the king of salmon when it comes to nourish the kidneys. It's one of those foods your body is really starving for. Let's open the can, let's see why. Now, this one is regular canned salmon. And don't get me wrong, canned salmon is very healthy, maybe even more than fresh salmon. Salmon is probably the best protein source you can find because even if you have to limit protein intake, the goal is always going to be high quality protein but low protein intake. So high quality, low quantity. And this is the highest quality protein, an incredibly nourishing food. Salmon is high in several B vitamins. A 3.5 ounce or 100 grams of salmon contains serious amounts of all the vitamins of the B group. Thiamine, niacin, riboflavin, there's everything in salmon. And there's also the most important vitamin, what I call the kidney vitamin, vitamin D3. Now, there's just one problem with this one. We don't know where this salmon is from. And while almost all canned salmon is wild caught, if the origin of the salmon is not listed on the label, it may be farm. Farm salmon, of course, is a poor choice due to antibiotic use, toxins such as PCBs and pollution of waterways where the salmon are kept. Not good for the salmon and not good for who eats it, especially in case of kidney problems. This one is different because it is Alaskan wild sake salmon. Let's open the can. You see, 
this one is more reddish than the regular one. This means two things. First, that your salmon is the wild stuff from North American waters, so it's not farm. Way less toxins in this one. But you're not always going to find this one fresh unless you live in Alaska. This is why canned salmon may be really healthy for you. Now, sake salmon are known for their bright red flesh and their bold scent. They're the most flavorful, what some would consider fishy, of all the salmons. What gives salmon the fishy taste is the omega-3's content. Just this small 3.5 ounce serving packs a whooping 860 milligrams of omega-3's. This is one of the foods with the higher content of omega-3's in the world. It's not just food, it's medicine. And there's more. This is also the best source of vitamin D you can find. This contains about 80 micrograms of vitamin D3. That's 90% of the recommended daily intake. Now, it is relatively easy getting enough vitamin C and vitamin A, but vitamins of the B group, and especially vitamin D, are those people following a riddle diet are more often missing. How often? Well, many people don't know this, but almost 80% of kidney disease patients have insufficient levels of vitamin D. This is why I'm telling you that your kidneys are starving for this food. Okay, it's time for our number one now. Let's see what it is. And our number one is... Okra! Oh, another veggie with an impressive nutrient profile! Exactly what you need to nourish your kidneys. Okra, also known as ladyfingers, is cultivated in warm and tropical climates and it's a popular addition to gumbo. But okra can be eaten raw too, especially the smaller, more tender pods. Inside the pod are small edible seeds. Okay. But what's so special about okra? Well, first of all, it's packed with healthy nutrients, especially vitamins C and K1. Vitamin C contributes to your overall immune function, while vitamin K1 can help with blood clotting. Okra is also rich in polyphenols, including flavonoids and isocarcetin, that may reduce your risk of serious diseases, prevent inflammation, and contribute to overall health. Now, another great benefit of okra for your heart and consequently for your kidney health is mucilage, the substance that makes it slimy. Turns out this thick gel-like substance binds to cholesterol in the intestines, reducing its absorption. Great to lower blood cholesterol levels. So, a lot of benefits from such a small pod. But I've kept the best benefit for last. According to a study, Okra may be very helpful in stabilizing blood glucose levels and preventing kidney disease in people with diabetes. According to this research, patients who ate okra daily had reduced signs of kidney damage. So, while this one is healthy for everyone, in my opinion, okra is a must for people with diabetes. Okra is most commonly used in soups and stews. The mucilage it contains act as a natural thickener when heated. But you can enjoy okra as a side dish too. Just soak it in vinegar before cooking so it doesn't feel slimy. And cook it at high heat, such as by sautéing for example. Okra pods can even be eaten raw. But either way you can eat it, this is one of the healthiest foods your kidneys are starving for. Okay guys, a new video is coming next Tuesday as usual. If you don't want to miss it, subscribe and set the notification bell to all. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This was our last one for today. Thank you for watching.